Alright hey peeps, it's Bazza. Um little update video for you all um, of what I've been up to in the hobby. So loads of stuff really. I've uh, still got I've got two commissions on the go. One's coming to an end, one's just starting. Um and I'll show you the, um, what I'm doing with the commission. So still the Tyranids, but it's the last like squad of stuff that I've got to do. Uh, which is gargoyles. I've got 30 of them to do. Um, and this is the paint scheme up to now. So literally all that that's going to get now is a wash and, well, paint the tongues purple and then get a wash all over and then that's that done. Uh, it look pretty cool. So I've got 30 of them to do. I've done 12. I've got another 18 to do. So what I'm going to do is try and get the other 8 done on one day and then another 10 done on another day and then they're done then I can post them off ship them back to the lad because I've had his models for maybe three months now but I'm sure you'll agree I've painted a hell of a lot of models in three months and don't forget guys I've got a job a full-time job I've got you know two kids a wife and another one on the way and you know we need time for myself and all that type of stuff so i'm sure you'll agree that i've done a fantastic job <laughs> um yeah so the other commission uh was from the lad uh the rook i don't know what he's called himself now on face youtube or whatever i can't quite remember but if you go back in my videos it's the lad who wanted the 10 terminators and terminator librarian painted up as like a blood angel success chapter kind of thing so what you wanted was this box painted up so the easy to build space marine primaris intercessor um yeah bit of a, not a strange request but you wanted uh these three painted up you wanted this one painted up as a salamander this one a white scar and this one a imperial fist so I've painted the Imperial Fist, I've made this one up, I haven't sprayed it out yet, and this one's still in the box. Um, so I'll show you the Imperial Fist. There we go. Quite like how it's turned out. Uh, I've gone for like the battle damage, grimy look. Um, just because I think yellow kind of suits that look. I don't like a clean looking yellow and obviously yellow is notoriously hard to paint but I found a paint now a Games Workshop don't do it anymore it's a bit of a shit that they don't um, it's the old foundation paint I end in Dark Sun is that it is absolutely the best paint you'll ever see or find in your life literally because it's a foundation paint it's got more pigment in it uh, so it's one coat coverage and yeah mint absolute mint uh, and then he's got the red chest piece let's see if i can go even closer Ooh, focus go on then you can see his eye there his eyes like a turquoise blue just thought that's pretty cool stand out bish bash bosh there you go so there's that done also still carrying on with the taylor gamers at my local gw so i'm painting up this month, uh, and I've know that I've got to scrape some more lines off. Uh, ten of these buggers, <laughs> spider fang things, whatever. And I've got a massive like arachnorock spider to do as well. Not for this month, but it's uh, it's it needs doing. So I've got ten. Well, I've got twenty of these, but I'm painting ten for this month. Um, these come on rectangle bases. Um, traditionally, with like. They've got like a scenic base type thing but it also has a peg that's in the center of the rectangle base and the spider sits on top of there so it looks like it's sat on top of the detailed base obviously with an oval base uh, which is what uh, it comes in in the the age of sigma box thing not the old war ammo one uh, the spiders don't fit on the base as in you'll put up you'll put it on top and the legs just look like they're stood on tippy toes and the belly doesn't touch the floor. So to compensate for that, as you can see, I have bent the back legs 
and it kind of kind of works because when do you ever see a spider stood on its like the tip of its foot leg or whatever you know what I mean you don't you see the leg bent a bit and yeah so there you go and then that's how you get the belly to stick to the floor just so it's proper secure Whee. so there's that so I've got 10 of them to paint up supposed to be by the end of the month but I think there's a little bit of leeway uh, for that uh, and then for like a personal project that I'm doing obviously I'm doing the Shades Fire box set that's just for me when I've you know, got a bit of downtime after painting all this sort of stuff um, so I'll show you what I'm painting I've got the Stormcast to do so there's this one I've painted up uh, everyone seems to do this kind of blue for Stormcast, but I just like it so far I'll jump on the bandwagon. Basically, Thousand Suns blue, then Araman blue, and then Temple Guard blue for like an edge highlight. Bases are really nice, I think. Uh, painted with Mechanicus Standard Grey for the grey bits. Um, Steel Eden Drive for the mud and stuff like that, and uh, Lorien Forest for the green. Wash with Agrax Earth Shade, let it dry. Dry brush with Rakarth Flesh, and it just comes out like that. It's pretty cool. Um, so there's that one. I quite like how the shoulder pads pop. Really nice little contrast there, I think. And I've literally just finished this one. Um, so focus, there we go, the girl of the group. It's pretty cool. I like the shield, how that's come out with a nice bold design on it. I've just painted it black basically just so it stands out and I think it works quite nice um, yeah and again same types of bases uh, these bases are class if Games Workshop like made these bases instead of just the bog standard I'd jump all over them <laughs> you know I'd buy in hundreds and hundreds so I've still got obviously this guy to do the leader um, but I'm going to even push myself a bit more and see if I can make this super duper nice and then I've still got the chaos corn side at the back to do but again like like I say guys it's just a, a leisure um, like a sit down and relax type painting I'm doing with these um, so yeah so there you go guys that's my little update what I've been doing in the hobby um, if you like what you're seeing drop a comment down, down below um, hit the thumbs up where there's a thumb and it's up or you can have a thumb and put it down if you want to uh, leave comments and go and smash the crap out of that subscribe button and everyone says this now there's a little bell go press that little bell button and it'll give you notifications on when videos are coming up and all that type of stuff right guys i'll see you all later have a good one see you later Ta -da.